Hey guys, welcome back to another snowblower quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how to save money by using aftermarket carburetors to repair your snowblower. What I've got here are some carburetors that John from DiscountOnlineParts.com sent me. And both these carbs are made by Oregon. And this carburetor here and the other one in the box will fit on most snowblowers with a Tecumseh engine. What I've got here in my hand is a non-adjustable carburetor. It's part number 50-659 and it replaces Tecumseh carburetor number 640-349. 9 out of 10 times this is the carburetor that you're going to need when you replace your non-adjustable carburetor on your snowblower engine. Now the other carburetor over here which is part number 50-663 replaces Tecumseh number 632-370A. And this is the adjustable version of the same carburetor. And by the way, these carburetors come with the gasket over here. Now I've used some of these carburetors on snowblowers before with great success. Sometimes you can clean a carburetor three, four times on your snowblower and it's still gonna surge and pop. It just doesn't matter how much you clean a carburetor sometimes, you just have to replace the whole thing. The only thing I've noticed that I've had to do with these aftermarket carburetors before I use them is to replace the bowl nut gasket and the bowl o-ring. Now I'm talking about the bowl nut gasket over here and the bowl o-ring which goes between the bowl and the carburetor. I highly recommend that you do this before you install these carburetors. The reason why I would highly recommend that you replace the bowl nut gasket and the o-ring is because I've had a few carburetors leak fuel there. Now it's really inexpensive to do this. All you need is to buy this part here. It's number 631028A and it's the bowl o-ring. This will cost you approximately $2. And also the bowl nut gasket is part number 27110A. This will also cost you approximately $2. So with the money you save to buy the aftermarket carburetor, even if you spend five bucks to make it even better, that's still a good deal. It's only gonna take a few minutes to do this and I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. So just grab a ratchet and a half inch socket or a half inch wrench, remove the bowl nut here. Then just pop the bowl off. As you can see inside the carburetor, there's a nice plastic float. It looks identical to an original Tecumseh carburetor. So just pull off the O-ring. Grab your OEM Tecumseh O-ring and just install it like this. You want it to be all the way down. It's going to fit perfectly. Now you can use whatever tool you want, but today I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. Be very careful doing this and just remove the bowl nut gasket. Now install the gasket on the bowl nut. Now you need to line up the flat part of the bowl to where the needle valve and the pin here are on the carburetor. And when you push the bowl on, you want to make sure it goes all the way around on the O-ring, just like this, push down. You're going to notice it's going to be nice and firm and then install the bowl nut and just tighten it up snug now what I showed you is just a suggestion you may not always have to replace the o-ring and the bowl nut gasket I do because sometimes I send these carburetors out on machines that do not belong to me and I don't want people to have leaking carburetors and by the way it's going to be the same process to replace the bowl o-ring and the bowl nut gasket if you have the adjustable carburetor now I think that the adjustable carburetor costs a bit more money than the non-adjustable. However, it is much cheaper than if you buy an OEM carburetor. Now you can easily save over 50% off the price of an OEM carburetor by buying these. In the next clip here guys, you're going to see an older snowblower that I've actually installed one of these carburetors on. Now on this older Aaron snowblower, I put on the Oregon non-adjustable carb, part number 50-659. And it replaces Tecumseh carburetor 640349. And as you guys can see there, the carb runs really well. And I'm really happy with the quality of these carburetors and they do a good job. I've had a lot of people prefer having an aftermarket carburetor for half the price than to pay full price for an OEM one. 
And by the way, this is where you can buy these carburetors. It's from discountonlineparts.com. You can also phone them if you want. Now, if you look under the video and click where it says show more, you're going to see links to where you can buy all these parts online. I just thought I'd show you guys these carburetors because it's a good way to save money. Also, please comment if you've used any of these carburetors on your own equipment. I'd be interested as to what your thoughts are on them as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.